the book uh, it, it covers a lot of stuff and and one thing that I um, was thinking when I was reading and I was thinking that chemistry in particular is kind of the um, what am I trying to say? It's kind of the middle science between everything else, right? Because below it, you <laughs> yeah. have, you know, physics and above it, mm -hmm. you have biology. And then mm -hmm. maybe above biology, you have psychology or something like that. Mm -hmm. But chemistry is really this, like, sort of middle science. And it is very um, easy in a way for, I think, for people to grasp where maybe physics yeah, or biology so isn't because physics is so so weird in a lot of ways and it's very mathematical and then you have biology which is like can be very very complicated with so many molecular pathways and stuff but chemistry feels like it it kind of sits in the middle there and it's maybe more accessible do you think that's true i to me i think chemistry is very accessible yeah. um so it it almost frustrates me when people don't think when people say oh it was that used to be so um complicated in school i hated it i never understood it and um i to me i think chemistry is very accessible and it's a very close to everyday life this is what the book is all about right yeah. um it's it's everywhere i mean we are made out of molecules right so the two of us which is two bunch we're, I'm just a bunch of molecules talking to you which is a bunch of molecules about molecules it's ah. so it's so meta <laughs> ah, that's, that just like freaks me out when I think about no, it no it's like... it's such an every, it's such an everyday science to me and I don't see it um, represented as, as much in the media when you when it's uh, so in Germany a lot of the science communicators are physicists um, somehow, yeah. I don't know why, uh, and I think yeah. it's the same when I think about um, um, Bill Nye. Is, is Bill Nye a, a, a physicist? Uh, he actually studied engineering. I think that I or think the, yeah, he's uh, uh, the one I that that when you said that immediately came to mind was Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's an right. astrophysicist, and, which is right. something a little. And I mean, it's it's yeah. we have a few we have a few. Um, yeah, people also in in German media that are very present, and there are no chemists, and I, I wonder why. <laughs> so I'm happy I can represent now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, yeah, and and you talk about in the book, uh, you know, it, it tying into, um, uh, you know, cosmetics and food, especially. I mean, oh yeah, food. So cooking. so my. So I actually studied biochemistry. That that was my background, but I went more in the into the direction of kind of molecular biology and genetics, which is a little bit you know, and not just straight straight chemistry. Um, but but I cook also, and I totally get that 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 like cooking and chemistry are so intimately related, um, especially when you now, get into in German... baking. You know, baking. Oh yeah, baking. Yeah. Baking is 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 straight up chemistry, and yeah, and baking is 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 hard. You have to follow a few rules, um, so uh, if you so in baking, you can really just just screw it all up, right? You can make your if you want to make cookies, and you might they might just melt into one giant cookie. <laughs> um, I think cooking. There's not so much that can go wrong, not as much as in baking. Yeah, but exactly. But interestingly, in, in German, um, so when chemists go into the lab and work in the lab, um, do, so lab work is called kochen, which is, which is the same word as cooking. So we, we say, uh, ich muss doch was kochen uh, im Labor, it means um, ah, I just have to you know, finish, finish, this, finish this thing up in the lab. It's, it's called kochen, so cooking. And... It really is basically the same thing. And I just love cooking so much because it's basically like chemistry, but you can eat it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how awesome is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know if your experiment was successful because it tastes good, right? At the, at the yeah. End of the day. <laughs>